All right, um, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, we're gonna talk about frameless exporter. I just created a camera file and I'm gonna populate. I'm going to create a written height of 400. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to stack my key on the same Alright, you can see uh, I have it already started and now. Um, uh, you can see I have the frame but I don't have a frame but so you can see I have the uh, frame I'm gonna go uh, go take away make it frame this border um, now here we go the flex QT window run it again now that's my frame this but then I can move it around anything like that. I'm just gonna go on ahead and instead of just jumping in, I'm gonna uh, go uh, resize. The first thing I'm gonna do before I, I do the title, but I'm gonna resize it. I'll put a mouse here, right here, right here. and uh, it's gonna be at the left bar, so we're gonna need a width so it can come out a little bit. Now shout out to uh, the guys at Evil Lake. Uh, I don't know if EvilLake.com. I forgot to check out. They first did this. They first implemented this. I just changed it a little bit, but then they first implemented it. Most of the code coming from their website, right? So shout out. So just go to the ankles. Slap it to the legs. Slap it to the bottom and top. Now that it's slapped to the bottom, we're just gonna go when the user clicks, we're gonna record uh, the, the position of the Keza and then when he moves it, we will resize it because then we're building the first resize. Forgive me for tell you, just I know maybe it's not important for you to create a resize, but then it move. But then I think that. Uh, we have to talk about all this now, right? And uh, maybe we can make a lot of short tutorials, right? Property uh, integer to store this uh, effect previous x and I don't know when to store previous x and to property integer to store the previous y which will be using when the user click. So when the user click uh, which is when the person is this on pressed is when the person has held it down we're gonna set the previous uh, the with the left resize with the left resize we will be using um, uh, the S axis so we can just set in the previous X to the mouse X right, so then we will use the mouse position to set the previous X so that we have it so that when we move, we will be able to um, resize it now. Uh, so on mouse X changed, we're gonna resize it. So first, we're gonna create a variable to put uh, how much uh, has been moved. Uh, we, we, we're checking how much has been moved by subtracting the previous from the current 
right so that if I was here uh, if I was here and this list was like 20 and I go over here that means the pre previous was uh, 20 and I've come I've come over here and so now I'm 40 and so if I subtract the previous 20 from 40 I get 20 I get some 20 more that means I moved some 20 more and so we're gonna resize it by uh, subtracting some 20 and then we also gonna I just create an ID I could have just done period but then I think it's beautiful with the ID so we're gonna start subtracting the uh, main window to set cell width right and we're gonna subtract um, how much has moved from the uh, we're gonna subtract how much has moved uh, from the wick maybe the other wick minus minus dx that subtracts from it let's see with all its arrows uh, I think we are there I, I made a big mistake I'm gonna close it out then we're gonna give it a case a case shape QT dot size I think it's a horizontal case that helps with size there it is now there you can see we are changing the size but then our uh, our X is the same we will change it and how will we change it we move it some DX uh, let me uh, go uh, main window the set x and the s is going to be main windows x uh, plus the dx i hope that's it so then we go and then you can find out that we are moving our uh, our x to fit nicely we are moving our x to fit nicely so i'll close out of it now that the first resize for the left is done i'll make this short video so let's do it for the resize for the right 